Hello guys, in this video I want to show you the default Laravel controller and what PHP Storm underlines as errors in the default Laravel controller. How can we fix those and how can we customize the content of default Laravel controller? And this will be an experimental video which I will shoot in dark mode terminal. I made a poll recently on this channel and a lot of you voted that I switch to dark mode terminal. And the easiest way for me to do that is to adopt PHP Storm native terminal, which is down below. So in the comments, you may comment if this is better over my MacBook terminal for you to watch. It's not about what terminal is best for me. It's what's best for you to watch in the video. So we generate a new controller, PHP Artisan make controller, for example, task controller, and let's make it a resource controller, and it will generate a controller with some methods. And if we open it up, task controller, as you can see, quite a few things are underlined by PHP Storm. Why is that? Let's go step by step. First, the methods don't actually return anything. Missing functions return type declaration. And in here, you should return the response here as this. But this is another problem. Usually in the index method of resource controller, I do something like this, return view, for example, if it's a task controller. So for example, tasks index with compact of tasks, something like this, and then task may be some task all. I don't have that model yet, so I will just assign something like this. So typically from some methods like index create and show in the controller, I return the view and then it's a mismatch from response. And then if we go down and see the error return type value is expected to be response, actually view returned. So why don't we do view here, illuminate view, and then as you can see, immediately this is not underlined anymore and this is not underlined anymore because it returns something. But then there's a mismatch with this. So we need to also change that to return view like this. And then nothing is underlined anymore. And in a similar fashion, create should be the same thing. Then store should be the same thing. Basically Laravel prepares the controller to be universal with any request and any response. But for your personal case, if the controller is especially not the API controller, you should probably return views, or in this case, store should return probably redirect. Actually, let's try to do that. Return redirect to route of something, tasks index, and then let's see what should be the return. Is expected to be response, now redirect response returned. So we should go redirect response here, and then also change this redirect response and here what is underlined qualifier is unnecessary and can be removed okay request is like this so again nothing is underlined anymore now don't get me wrong those functions would still work it's just kind of a styling change readability change but more and more i'm trying to be more strict with myself and teammates about return types variable types because it makes the code more readable and I have a separate video of what may happen if you don't provide a return type. You may bump into random errors which are not readable and I will link that video in the description below. But this is basically how I would change the controller generated by Laravel. And also we can go one step further and change the default controller template which would automatically generate all of that so I wouldn't need to change it manually every time for every controller. Let's do that. Starting from Laravel 7, there is an artisan command, PHP artisan, stub, publish. You can publish so-called stubs, which are actually templates of everything that is generated by artisan commands. And if we open the tree of files, now we have a folder called stubs. And if we open the file controller.stub, there are actually multiple controller stubs. I'm not entirely sure that we are editing the right one, but let's try and see what happens. As you can see, it's the same text of the controller file, just with some variables. So class name is a variable, namespace is a variable, and a few more things. Let's change the content of that controller stub and include what we actually need. So illuminate view, copy here, redirect response here, then let's change the index to return the view something. Actually, let's copy it from here. Return view like this. 
we don't have the tasks because it's controller for any model. So let's just delete the tasks here. So it would be something index and let's change the return type to return view from here like this and view here. And you can also edit other parts, but I will stop here and try to generate a new controller. So open the terminal again, make controller, not task controller, but for example, project controller or whatever. And let's see what it generated for us. And as you can see, our method is not underlined anywhere, generated with our new rules, use here. I didn't implement the redirect response for the store, so those are still underlined, but I just wanted to show you the example how you can customize the stubs, the templates for your future controllers. And it's not only about controllers. Stub Publish publishes a lot of stubs for factory, middleware, mail, model, and all of that, so you can take a look at those and customize those as well. If you want more tips and videos like this one, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support my mission of shooting these daily videos for free on YouTube, you should subscribe to yearly membership of my premium courses, which currently is 34 courses. I'm planning to reshoot some old courses very soon and start the new topics in the autumn. So subscribe to that and see you guys in other videos.